All right, ladies and gentlemen, let us look at this cone. So the question was like, draw the given view and express the full development of this cone. So if you, you take a closer look on it, there is no any cutting plane. It's just throw out to your apex point there. So from here to there, the set is 15 millimeter. From there till there is uh, 50 millimeter. From here till there, the set is diameter uh, 42 millimeter. So let us look at how are we going to get the what the development of it. So what I'm gonna do first, I am going to divide our circle into 12 equal parts. There you go. Like this we go. I'll try to be fast. Like that we can go. Like this we can go. So from there I can say this is zero one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, back to zero. Then from there, I projected them up. Point one and eleven, there will be same point. Actually, it's supposed to stop there. Then point uh, two and ten, same line. Point three and nine, they're already there. Then point four and point. 8 there will be the same line point 0.5 and 7 there they go so once they touch my bottom part of my cone I'll direct them to my apex point like this we go like this we go like this we go and 1 and 11 there they go right so from there i am going to just extend this line just a little bit let's get the true length as well as this one right so now you take your drawing compass you take your drawing compass i place my compass at this point so let me name this point r stand for the reference of all these uh, angles that i'm about to 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 draw now now place your 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 compass there by r eh? further extended 2.6 then get an arc that's going to behave like this throw it faint there you go then i can stop right there then from there i'll project it up you understand so this is line zero and six you understand once it touch there project it to your vanishing point i uh, not vanishing point this is not perspective a uh, apex point then from there let's get point uh, five point five in the same line with seven place it there by your r further extend it that goes faint eh? that goes that goes Try it to be accurate. Once it touch this line of mine, it's gonna go vertically up. Project it up. Once it touch there, this point is what is 0.5. It's 0.7 and 5. You understand? Then now take it up to apex point. There it goes. Once it gets there, take 0 0.4 with 0.8. There you go. Faint, eh? There you go. From there, I can stop. I go up. So this is going to be 8 this side and 4 this side. Then take it to your apex point using 30 millimeter ruler there you go then from there place it at r further extended 2.9 with 3 is the center i draw it as such there it is Let's get there the center isn't it so 
I'll draw it as such. There you go. There you go. So that I know that I've got three lines before the center and three lines after the center. So now we are going to take point 10 with the two. Place it at R. There you go. There you go. Faint. Eh? Once it gets there, go vertically up. This is three and nine, isn't it? So this is going to be two and ten. Eh? So from there, there you go. Then what is left uh, is uh, point one and eleven. Same vertical line. So there it goes. Place it at R further extended to point eleven. There you go. You throw it faint, isn't it? Once it touch there, go up. So this is point one and eleven. So from there, you take it to your apex point, faint. There you go. Anyone? Then from there, the last point, which is point zero. There you go, two zero. This is our zero. There you go. From there, go up. You understand? Then from here, there it goes. So line zero is together with what? With six. You understand? Right. Then after we have this so now remember your development it can be uh, attached to the same apex point or it can be having on its own uh, apex point is it's fine whether it's uh, your development can look upside down or straight up or left or right is still one and the same thing as long as it is accurate and correct so Mina, I'm going to just further extend this center. There you go. Then once I'm having that, once I'm having that, then I can come and place my drawing compass at a point a apex point further to point six. And I know that point six is in the same line with what with point zero. So there you go. Okay, now we are developing after I've drew after I've took this center line going straight like this. So now I'm going to place my compass at apex point like this, further extended to point six. There by your true length. Then I get an arc that's going to be like this. There you go. There you go. Then from there, I can say this is 0.6. Mark this one, 0.6. You understand? And then now, place your compass at your apex point again. Further extended to 0.1 and 11. There you go. Then, come place it at 2 and 10. Which is right there. There you go. Then place it at 3 and 9, which is the center. There you go. There you go. Now place it at 4 and 8. There you go, faint. Eh? Place it at, uh, uh, remember, you're, you're still pointed at your apex point, isn't it? Place it at point of four, of five and seven. There you go. At uh, 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 six and zero, which is the last one. There you go. Then after that, now I can come to what to take the 
this uh, distance because this is equal to to all the sides isn't it or you can use l is equals to pi diameter over 12 so that you get the true length of your development you understand this is the true length of your development or you can easily take that one there when you substitute uh, d you are going to put the diameter of your cycle you understand so like this is still running the same thing like this so i can now come there by my development and say six five four three two one back to zero you understand so I come here and say six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, back to zero. You understand? So now I can have, can construct them like this. There you go. There you go. There you go. Like this you can go, like this you can go, all of them to your apex point. There you go, like this you go, like this you go. Mm -hmm. There you go. Then like this we go. So you remember, Uguti, we are not given the cutting plane. There, you understand. Because if there was a cutting plane, you are going to, to be told, Uguti, please note XX is the joint. So if I've got a 6 there, this is 5 descending 4, 3, 2, 1, back to 0. Then you come to say 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 11 back to zero you understand so now we are going to get the 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 joint so i am going to have a point right there and the point there and the point there there you go descending up until your last point is 26 understand so now without fear or favor this one is going to be solid there you go solid like this there you go you understand and then again from there going up now five there four right there three center from there two and one back to zero then now we have it solid like this so now you can use freehand or you can use your flex curve. Now you join this point that you plotted. There you go. There you go, there you go, there you go. So remember that uh, this development, it can be uh, this portion it can be upside down or straight up is one and the same thing it's up to you how are you going to to draw it so that was it that was it so you remember very well that in the question this is what you'll be given only even the auxiliary top it won't be there you understand so others they will just take it as a, a half cycle right from there is still one and the same thing this development is you can put it aside still on the same thing you can whatever way you prefer remember you must mind about the space in the drawing sheet as well that is very much important you must mind about your space so that was it thank you very much for watching guys see you on the next video okay all right guys if you are now done like this uh, let's say uh, the the question was like express the full development as uh, i mean uh, the complete top view because this is the what is then uh, now full development this one
then now let's say they set uh, this is the full development this is your front uh, front view front view isn't it so now let's say they set uh, express the the complete top view as well uh, how are you going to have that so this apex point now it will be there at your R, isn't it so what are you going to do now you are going to have these lines this one which is zero and 60, uh, and 60 uh, without fear or favor it should be dark like this then one to your apex point two to your apex point there by your top view eh? three to your apex point we almost forget this one uh, four to your apex point you understand five already there isn't it then you come back and there by your 11 to your apex point 10 apex point of your top view 9 there it goes 7 and 8 you understand then now I can come back to what to draw this one solid now This one from there till there solid. The solid. Now this one it is supposed to be in hidden. So like this, I think we've accommodated everything. So that's how it's supposed to be. That's how it's supposed to be. I think we've accommodated everything. So uh, we started by the faint auxiliary or top uh, a cycle and then we project lines and uh, once they touch there from here till there is 20 millimeter we separate our views with 20 millimeter isn't it so from there we got uh, the dimension from here till there we were given the height of our cone we were given then skewed to this unknown angle we did not even bother ourselves to what to get it i'm just trying to narrate the steps you understand then from there we had to get this through lens these are through lens then then we had our development so, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, back to 0. So there are 12, which is what we have here. So if you've got any question, let me know down there on the comment, okay?